welcome back to my channel I want to talk about my school's my high school's burn book now it wasn't my burn book but the school collectively well the the black people collectively at my school decided to make a burn book after they seen um, mean girls after they seen mean girls and I my school didn't have a lot of black people it was probably like just to be to be real 100% honest with you guys from what I remember there was probably about 25 black people max 30 black people at my high school and we had a ginormous high school when I tell you we made like record-breaking um, students graduating in my class like it's a freaking huge school so uh, it's predominantly white but um, we I guess I don't know who came up with the idea to make a burn book but my school did now this school I was only at this school for two and a half years I had transferred to this school from Compton High so I didn't really know a lot of people but um, I didn't know them person a lot of people personally but I knew everybody there all the people that were black I knew we I knew all of them but I didn't know them personally of course um, but so around like 11th grade is when they came out with this burn book now this burn book was not all bomb and cute like the burn book in mean girls they decided it must have been some guys that made it it had to be because if a girl made it it would have been cuter than what it was it was basically some um like some printing paper on the outside and then some writing paper in the inside and they stapled it together and this book it wasn't made by one person one person didn't sit there and write all this stuff about one person they t took this book and hid it from the security, of course, hid it from the principal, and they just passed it around the black community at our school. And everybody wrote stuff about people in the book, like rumors that they heard or things that happened between them and this person. Now, there were two things in this book about me, all right? And I'm gonna let you guys know, these things were 100% not true. But for some reason, guys at the school always wanted to make some kind of rumor about me i don't know what that was I, didn't, I truly didn't understand it so let me just go ahead and tell you guys what they wrote about me in the burn book the first thing I, I ended up getting up the burn book eventually the burn book came into my hands and i flipped through it to see what was in there about me the first thing that was about me was the fact my first day of school this is they telling me so 10th grade the middle of 10th grade like after summer or whatever after winter break or whatever when I first started that school they're saying that I was in history class on the first day and I sat next to this guy who I know very well and I know he's the one that made this rumor whatever guy wrote something about me they made that rumor because I've heard it before and it was just weird so this guy who was the school ho I promise you he was the school mm. Okay, and because he tried to do it with everybody, he would always whip his thing out everywhere, no matter where he was. And he didn't care that it curved a little bit to the left. He didn't care about none of that. And I kind of feel bad to uh, saying that, but because my homegirl, uh, she actually ended up with him, and they have like two kids together. They still together to this day. But he was horrible in high school, horrible. So he made the rumor that we were in, in um, history class together. The first day of school, I sat next to him. We were watching a movie, supposedly, on this first day of, of uh, school. And we were watching Hitler. Supposedly we were watching a movie about Hitler. And I jacked him off while watching a movie, watching Hitler, in class, the first day of school. Come on. I wasn't even sexually active, bro. <laughs> what in the world what in the freaking world is that so that was in the burn book diamond jacked off whoop de whoop during hitler in history class all right the next one about me was that okay so i had this friend i can't remember her name but i remember her family had the same last name as me which is crazy because a lot of people don't have my last name so uh, her family had my last name we went to this these guys house this guy named john and he had a brother a little brother or whatever and they had this 
huge freaking mansion. And um, so me and her had went to their house. And I don't even know why I was invited to this place. Like me and him wasn't even cool like that. But I guess he just wanted some girls at his house. Or maybe it was her. Maybe she convinced me. I don't know what it was. But my dad, he dropped us off over there. And he, his whole family was there. Well, not his whole family. Because yeah, his family that lived there was there. So his mom was there. Dad was there. His brothers was there. So it wasn't like he was dropping me off at some guy house or some boy house. though. Because I was like, at this time I was probably in 11th grade. Yeah, I was probably in 11th grade at this time. So, um, he dropped us off over there. And, like, we, we got in the pool. No, did we go in the pool? I don't know if we got in the pool, but we definitely got in a jacuzzi. We played pool and stuff like that. It was just a good time. So, him and my friend was in the jacuzzi together by themselves while I was upstairs playing pool with his little brother. And then I also went down there and ended up in a jacuzzi with them, all three of us, right? The next day I get to school, which is like, you know, it was the weekend when we did this. Then the next day, like Monday, he told the whole school that I jacked, wait, they, either he did something to me or I did something to him in the jacuzzi. That's what was said. So I'm like, why is it always me doing something to somebody? Like, I just don't get it or doing something to me. Why is it something sexual? Why couldn't it be, oh, Diamond farted, you know, or Diamond did something weird? You know, why had to be something sexual for me? So that was in the burn book. Diamond uh, either did that to John or or he fingered her, one or the other. And I know for a fact, I mean, I know for a fact I do neither one of those, but I definitely didn't let nobody put, put no fingers because I can't stand that. I've never liked that ever in life. So good luck, okay? So that is the story about my high school's burn book and how I was in there twice sucks i should kind of hit up my homegirls and be like hey do you remember what what was in the burn book about you in high school uh let me see let me see if they'll remember and then oh, i'm gonna hit up david see if he remembers and it was all the people in our class we were you know what we were probably seniors yeah we were seniors when this burn book came out because all the senior all the black senior kids was in it okay so and that'll be it i will come back with an update i'll probably put text messages or up on the screen or i'll probably just come back vlog style and let you guys know exactly what people put about my friends in the burn book okay i'll see you in the next one deuces